Hello dear learners, welcome to today's program. I am Dr. Pallavi Gugoy of Krishnakanta Handik State Open University. Today I shall be taking up Unit 12 of Remedial Grammar and we shall be discussing Glossary from Clause to Irregular Verbs. The course is Foundation Course in English, Semester 1, Block 2. So let us quickly begin. First I shall begin with a table of contents where we shall be discussing the learning objectives followed by introduction, glossary, clause to direct speech, glossary, ellipses to irregular verbs and questions to check your progress followed by the references. Learning objectives. After going through this particular video, the learner will be able to define various grammatical terms from the provided glossary with relevant examples. Glossary. From clause to direct speech. Clause. It refers to a group of words which form a syntactic constituent. In English, the most central grammatical constituent of a clause is the verb. This verb and all its possible noun phrases, preposition phrases that the verb must occur with constitute the clause. A clause forms a simple sentence. For example, I shall not go or a part of a complex sentence. For example, if it rains, I shall not go. Or a compound sentence, for example, I shall not go but you must go. Clef sentence. A clef sentence is a sentence which has been divided into two parts, each with its own verb to emphasize a piece of information. Clef sentences usually begin with an it clause. For example, it was John that or who came yesterday. If we want to focus particular attention on certain information in a sentence, we can also use a what clause. For example, what I need is a good holiday. Sentences using this pattern are referred to as pseudo clef sentences. Comparative. It is a form of an adjective or an adverb which is used to highlight comparison between two things in English. The comparative is formed with the suffix er, that is er, or more. Example, strong er, stronger, that is, or more beautiful. Just to give you an example, that is. Compound word. It refers to a combination of two or more words which function as a single word. For example, self-styled is a compound adjective. For example, he is a self-styled leader. Blackboard is a compound noun. For example, please clean the blackboard. Conjugation. It refers to a way in which a particular verb changes tense. For example, past, present and future. Person. For example, first person, second person and third person and number. For example, singular and plural. Conjunction. It is a word class that refers to an item or a process whose primary function is to connect words or other constructions. A distinction is made between coordinating conjunctions, for example, and, or, but, and subordinating conjunctions, for example, because, when, unless, etc also referred to as coordinators and subordinators respectively. Certain types of adverbials are often referred to as conjuncts. For example, however, hence, moreover, etc. Contraction or contracted forms. It is a term that is used in the context of fusing a sequence of forms so that they appear as single forms. For example, I have is contracted to I have, that is I with an apostrophe, I I have. I am is contracted to I am, that is I am with an apostrophe as you can see in this particular presentation. Countability. Countability is a term used in the grammatical classification of nouns and contrasts with uncountability. Countable nouns are those nouns that take the plural suffix. Besides, these nouns can be preceded by articles in a noun phrase construction, for example, a book. On the other hand, uncountable nouns normally do not take plural suffixes, for example, water or information. Determinum. It is a word class in English grammar whose main role is to co-occur with nouns to express a wide range of meanings. The determiners include articles, for example, a, an, the, possessives, for example, my, your, his, her, demonstratives, for example, this, that, these, those, Quantifies, for example, some, any, much, many, little, a little, the little, few, a few, the few. And WH determiners, for example, what, which. Direct speech. 
It refers to speech that is written by using the exact words of the speaker without any change. The direct speech is put within quotes. It contrasts with indirect speech where the exact words are modified by reporting verb, pronouns, and adverbs, and sentence forms, and no quotes are used. Glossary, ellipsis to irregular verbs, ellipsis. It is a term used in English grammar to refer to a sentence which for reasons of economy or style is modified by removing a part of the sentence which is recoverable from the context. For example, John, when did you come? David, yesterday. The complete sentence of David, I came yesterday, is shortened to provide only the word yesterday, which is the new information in this context. Gender. It is a grammatical category used for the analysis of word classes displaying contrasts such as masculine, for example, boy, man, bull, he, etc. Feminine, for example, girl, woman, cow, she, etc. Neuter, for example, child, it, etc. Genitive. It refers to the forms that nouns and pronouns can take to express possessive relationship by means of inflections, for example, a boy's shirt, a girl's hostel, a tiger's tail, John's book, or any other such examples. Idiom. It is a term used in grammar to refer to a sequence of words which functions as a single unit. The expression blow one's own trumpet is an idiom. The individual meaning of each of these words do not help us to get the idiomatic meaning of the sequence as a unit. Imperative. Imperative is a term used in the grammatical classification of sentence types and usually seen as contrasting with declarative, interrogative, and exclamatory sentence types. Imperative sentences are in the form of a command. For example, pick up the letter or request. For example, please close the gate. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs refer to a category of verbs that are distinguished from the category of verbs known as irregular verbs. Irregular verbs form their past tense and past participle by a change of vowels. The following are a list of a few of the verbs of this category. You can see the present form, that is the present tense, past tense and the past participle tense. To give you an example, begin, began, begun. So now you understand? Another example could be break, broke, broken, cling, clang, clung. That's another example for you. This brings us to the end of this particular video. Let us come quickly to the questions to check your progress. Starting with question number one, define the term cleft sentence. Question number two, state the difference between conjugation and conjunction with relevant examples. Question number three, define the term direct speech. Question number four, what are the meaning of the terms gender and genitive? Question number five, what are irregular verbs? Give examples. I hope you'd also go through the BA English graduate self-learning material that is the SLM or Foundation Course in English, Block 2, Unit 12, Semester 1. Thank you, dear learners.